game Win your life, have no shame There's no time, feel the pain Let the grind, I could change In my mind Look at that guys, beautiful. So here so this is what we have been doing today. So it's a steep. But nevertheless, so this is how we, this is how we are jump out today guys. So we have to go walk down here so and and clean, and pretty, look guys. clean and pretty. Hopefully it's a good day. So we are good we are good on one gears up, is it? Look the guys clean. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel guys. The first thing we know is a barrier in a trouble, but today we're gonna change it up on them. Today is not a really a barrier day. Today we're gonna look every fish out. Road fried all kind of fish. The water look calm and clean today guys. Take a look at the water. So today guys, it looks like a promising day. The weather look promising to the guy. So hopefully it don't only look good to fire some fish today. Just take a moment to just look at the beautiful scenery. Yes guys, so right here so we have to jump across We come up to reach over here so The water beautiful today And we climb down from up there so We are doing a closer look And we are jump across so now guys yeah. See your rock then sharp guys It's very sharp so We have to climb down on them So we climb down here. Guys, please remember to leave a like on the video. Also a comment and let us know what's up. All right, so we're gonna finish gears up now, guys. And jump into the water, so join us in the water. The water look crystal clear from the shallows. So we thought the entire water was clean When we got to the deeper side, it wasn't so The water was dirty This was on the deeper side As you can see, the water is not as clear as in the shallows Marcus called me over, saying he saw a big gold tail As you can see, it's there, heading back underneath the rock before I got in shooting range, it went down underneath the rock. So I was there looking for it. I didn't see it, so I head back for the surface. After I surfaced, I saw it coming out on the other side. So I made back a quick dive on it. It was hiding behind that rock. As I always say, I'm really good at hide and seek. So I sneak up on it and place a shot in the back. This was the first time seeing a gold tail this big. Marcus thought he didn't get a good shot, so he made a dive to give it a second shot. But before he could do so, he realized that it was a good shot. Yes guys, this was a huge fish. Great start for the morning. I was swimming with it as well. That's Marcus there assisting me. This dive was a random dive. The idea was to lay on this rock to see if anything would swim up on me. I was 
was here for quite some time. This rock looks beautiful. I saw a yellow tail there in the distance. If you look closely, you can see they're swimming around. I waited patiently for it to come closer, and it did. And guess what happened, guys? I took a shot at it. What did you think happened? Got it come guys, it's coming. Radam! I missed it shot guys. Let's take a closer look. This fish side this beer. Look closely guys and you will see what I'm talking about. Just before the spear reach, turn. That's why I missed that shot. made another dive on the same rock. The idea was to do the same thing I did in the previous dive. Just as I reached the rock, I saw this cool tail. It was a huge one. I took a quick shot at it and I missed this fish. This one was almost big as the first one. I'm off to a bad start. I should have settled and take a better aim at that fish. I decided that I was going to make another dive at the same rock. I was hoping to rectify the mistake of the first two dives. I did see a fish on this dive as well. Guess what guys, this was the smallest fish from the tree dive. It was a pink parrot. It was hiding behind this rock. I made sure to take a good aim at it this time guys. And I did spear this fish. After I took the shot, I realized that it was two pink parrot there. This one didn't look like it got a good shot. So I grabbed it, the secure it, and head for the surface. As you can see, the water is not really clean. The water is really dirty. I saw some chubs here. There was a lovely school of them. Containing various sizes. I didn't get any shot at any of them on this dive. I didn't stay for long either. My plan was to surface and lay on that rock and wait for them to come up. That's the strategy we normally use. And it always works. Take notes guys, you can use this strategy to spear chops. You don't necessarily have to dive at them. You just dive and lay there and wait, they'll come to you. This rock looks beautiful as well. So guys, look at this now. Did you see how they came in close to look at me? Yes, guys. If you don't use this strategy, you will have difficulty spearing shops. Unless they are underneath our wall. You have two different types of chops. You have the black bill chop and the yellow bill. This one is a black bill. These ones are normally the tough ones. When you put them they are tough. But the yellow bill one, those ones are soft and good for steaming. If you want to know how to differentiate between them, leave a comment asking me and I'll respond to you. So that when you're going out and buying fish, you know which one of the chops to take. This dive was another dive to spear one more chop. I took a shot. It was a long range shot. The gun didn't have enough power. 
took a shot though, but I missed. If I had more power on the gun, maybe I could have speared one. The spear was moving too slow. Yep, yep. Yeah. Wally, Wally Papara there, so come. Wally Papara. circle back with a net this is how we normally see them at this location but we don't get shot at them seems as if they are used to spear fishermen so they are very wild I saw one hiding here I was searching for it I was under the water for quite some time when I decided that I was going to surface I saw this dark teeth snapper so I pursue it. I was under the water for quite some time. So I was diving an empty tank. I had to take a long range shot at it. I only got a grace. What did you think about this effort guys? After being under the water for so long and pursuing it. If I saw it when I just took the dive. I would have gotten a better chance at it. I saw a huge pink parrot here swimming around this rock. I took a shot at it and I speared it. This shot was a good shot, but it wasn't a holding shot, so it got away. I saw where it went, so I surfaced and made another dive to look for it. It was a good shot, guys, a head shot. This is German footage of me spearing it. This was a more up close footage of me spearing the fish. Look at this, guys. Good head shot it got. Let's look at it in slow mo. quite a few dives to look for it but this dive was the dive that we saw it on it was there underneath the rock dead as I said it was a good shot it was there floating around so I had to give it a second shot to pull it out from underneath the rock look at this guys it was a lovely one look where the first shot went see that right in the knuckle here this dive was for some chops I saw a few of them here so I was using the same strategy to see if I could spear one they didn't come in close They swam by, but they were going too fast. So I head back for the surface. This dive was for a sleeper night. It was there swimming around this rock. Seems as if it was feeding. I tried to sneak up on it but it saw me and tried to swim away I took a shot at it I 
and I speared it, but this wasn't a holding shot. So it got away. I didn't even bother taking a second dive to look for it. This dive was for another para. I didn't get any shot at this one that I made the dive for. It was swimming away from me. A few parts that were seen, they are very wild. Parts swim away from me. I didn't surface. I continued to swim. Then I saw another para. It was a smaller one. This one was trying to hide from me. So I took this one instead. These are the size para that I like. I like these sides so I can fry them crisp and it's not easy to I saw a huge pink part here. It was hiding behind the C3. I made a dive on it, but before I could reach in shooting range, it swam off. So I didn't get any shot at this fish. They were moving wild. I'm not sure if it's because the water is dirty. They were taking any check. I saw some more pink part here. These ones were smaller than the one before. I got a shot at this one. Only the small ones were giving chances. I speared this one. This was another lovely one. The size that I like. This is a lovely one, a big size, guys. I saw a huge blue pink here feeding. This might be the biggest blue pink I have ever seen. As you know guys, the big parrots aren't giving any chances today. Before I could reach into shooting range, this one summer, I just took a shot. Because I was fed up of them running from me. This remora was still following us from the time we speared the gold tail. Marcus called me over and was showing me a lobster. His camera was dead, so he sent me to spear it. While going down, I didn't see exactly where it was. So he made a sound and showed and then pointed it out to me. I took a shot at it and I speared it. It was a lovely lobster, guys. I saw a lot of lobsters today, but there were small lobsters chicken lobsters this one was the biggest one I saw I saw a jack here of a huge size feeding so I made a dive on it when I got close just as I was about to spear it I saw a snake so I turned my attention to it I head back to the surface so I could take the camera off the mass so I could get a good footage of it. While I was heading for surface, Marcus made a dive to look at it as well. He saw a butterfish and he speared it, but it got away. It was a good shot though, the butterfish was just there, it was dead. So I made the dive to record the snake. I just spear back the butterfish. Then I went to video the snake. I went so close to it to get a good footage of it. I didn't know if it was harmful, but I was on my guard. I was ready for whatever. Is it the first time seeing this, guys? Let me know in the comment section. While I was recording the snake, Marco sprayed another butterfish. This one was hungry, so he gave it something to fill the belly. So 
know that fish looks beautiful up close guys while heading for land I saw this lovely blue thing it was running from me finally it stopped I took a shot and I speared it while heading for surface I noticed it, it tore off I speared this jack but I didn't turn on the camera while pulling it up it escaped but it was a good shot it was a spine shot so it went to the ocean floor and was barely moving I quickly set back my gun made a second dive on it and I gave it a knockout shot this time guys one in the many now yes guys it didn't even trim guys please remember to like up the video leave a comment watch the ads as well guys if you haven't subscribed as yet just hit the subscribe button guys join us out the water now guys Yes guys, so we just come out of the water The water never did as we think The water dirty But we still managed to find with dinner still We have to get tongues Peter, get some lovely fish Nice cool tail Yeah Even though the water never really good Right guys, we're going to be this year No, today is a half day for me Because I'll uh, see you first for some shoot off or uh, uh, stop off. I'm gonna play stop off. We don't put him, put his spear on him, fight blank, and you know I'm gonna miss. Okay, so you go still. We'll catch him on next day. So we have a pack up here now and go up. Oh, it's one young line man right here, so you say catch a long jar, you can see long jar. You there, boss, catch a long jar. Alright. So thanks for watching, guys, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.